Hello friends, welcome to Corporate Bridge program on CFL level 1 preparatory course. In this set of introductory video, we have two very clearly defined objectives. Number one, if you really want to make a successful career in finance, why you should do CFL level 1? That's the objective number one. Number two, is that if you're looking at this journey of CFA level one, how Corporate Bridge can really help you in terms of passing this examination at your first go. Let us first look at CFA enrollment statistics. In 1963, there were only 283 CNA analysts who gave this examination. Now look at what happened in the year of 2012. Almost 200,000 students have enrolled for CFA examination, representing a huge jump from what it was in 1963. So a basic question could be asked is what is this and why these numbers are really high and why large organizations are authenticating CFA. CFA test takers seek Wall Street success and global acceptances. That's what Bloomberg says. It's a gold standard in finance. That's what Financial Times and Economist has to say about CFA. So what is CFA? CFA is a globally recognized financial examination and for appearing for CFA exam, a person should have a minimum of bachelor's degree or equivalent or should be in the final years of bachelor degree program. And after you've done the enrollment, this exam is taken in three levels. The first level is taken in the month of June as well as in the month of December. The second level is taken in the month of June and third level also you can take it in the month of June. Please note that you should clear level 1 in order to appear for level 2 and likewise in order to appear for level 3 you should have cleared level 2 examination. Apart from these three stringent criteria, there are criteria related to your work experience, relevant work experience, joining the CFA Institute membership and essentially after all your credentials are met you earn CFA charter holder. There are more than 100,000 CFA charter holders from 140 countries. On the left hand side we can see who employs CFA charter holders and on the right hand side we have the data of what CFA charter holders are doing right now. As much as 23-22% are portfolio managers, 14% are research analysts, investment bankers, financial advisors. So in a nutshell, if you are talking about core financial jobs, these guys are CFA charter holders. And which kind of companies look forward to employing CFA charter holders? These are investment companies, mutual funds, broking firms, investment banking, sell-side research, private client wealth management services, consulting firms. So all in all, this is basically the supply side where the jobs are coming from. So having looked at why CFA is very important and someone who is pretty serious about their careers in finance must take CFA examinations. Now let us move forward and look at how CFA level one can actually be attempted. CFA level 1 is divided into two parts. Part 1 is the morning examination and part 2 is the afternoon examination. Though there is no not much difference between the morning and the afternoon examination, in total you are asked 240 questions and in the morning you are asked 120 and in the afternoon another 120 questions. These 240 questions are nothing but multiple choice questions, MCQs multiple choice questions and hence one of the answers would be right out of the given choices. Now looking at the bifurcation it is divided into various objectives or topics ethical and professional standards, quantitative methods and analysis, economics, financial reporting and analysis, corporate finance, equity investments, fixed income, derivatives, alternate investments and portfolio management. Now I may want you to actually look at some of the topics very closely, one of them being the ethical and professional standards which is almost 15% of the overall weightage and 36 questions are asked in ethical and professional standards. Likewise look at financial reporting and analysis, 20% weightage and as many as 50 questions are asked from this. Another important one would be equity investments and 
fixed income which has a weightage of 10% and 12% respectively. So all in all if you do not come from an accounting background I would request you to actually focus a lot on financial reporting and analysis. This is the core and though it is 20% in terms of weightage someone from a non-accounting background should spend at least 30% to 40% of the total allocated time. In fact, in level 1, the total number of recommended hours of study is around 250 to 300 hours. Though CFA Institute recommends around 200 hours of study, we recommend that you must study 250 to 300 hours out of which 40% in the pessimistic case should be spent on accounting. So let's look at our accounting module, how Corporate Bridge has designed its accounting module to help you in the most important module of CFA Level 1. Corporate Bridge designed the CFA Level 1 accounting module after thinking a lot about how accounting can be introduced to someone who is not from a finance background. When we looked at this first chapter, we saw that there is an opportunity to introduce accounting in a very innovative and a fun way. And that's where we took a case study approach. And this is where you will find that in section 1, when we talk about the worlds of income statement, balance sheets and cash flows. Instead of starting in a very dry and an inefficient way, we started this with a case study. We believe that if you are able to complete this 45 minutes of case study, you should get a solid grasp of what income statement, balance sheets and cash flows are all about. And looking at this, you will be able to understand the details which come in the subsequent sections. So we have taken this in a lot more detail and there are subsequent quizzes after every topics. This accounting module contains almost 10 hours of video tutorial. However, please take note that we are going to continuously work on CFA modules and we'll keep on adding these modules one by one in this present course structure. So if you want to have some further details, you can go through this details of how CFA is structured and you know what are the course fees of the CFA examination and what are the eligibility criteria. Last but not the least, this course comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee and lifetime access and there are no limits in terms of the number of videos watched or the training program that you would have taken. All the very best for your CFA Level 1 examination. We look forward to having you on board for this course.